So I'm actually going to redo this question. So this was the bond through fair value through OCI. And I'm just going to change it because I want to show you what it would look like if it was through net income instead. So all of the journal entries are going to be the same. So the bond amortization table is going to be the same. My purchase for the bond investment is going to be the same. My first interest payment is going to be the same. Here's where it's different. So this unrealized gain or loss to value it to the fair value is actually going to not go through OCI. So I just have to take this off there. So that's going to go through net income. So that's one change. Then my next interest payment is going to be treated the same. My other next interest payment is going to be treated the same. And then when I revalue this again, before I sell it, it's not going to go through OCI. So I'll just get rid of that. So here's another difference. It would just be this journal entry right here. So that'll just go straight through net income. And what we'll end up doing is also changing all of these accounts just to say fair value through NCI investment. Or sorry, fair value through net income investment. There we go. So we'll just make sure those are changed. So right now, all I did is I changed the wording and I changed my unrealized gains and losses to go through the income statement instead of the comprehensive income statement. I know this is fascinating. Okay. So now, since I have everything going through the income statement, then I wouldn't have to recycle anything either into income or into retained earnings because it's already there. So all you would do is not do these last two journal entries. So we did those two journal entries under fair value through OCI. So this is what that would look like. 